top tips to stop your dog from stealing your stuff. There are many reasons your dog might be stealing your stuff. Perhaps they're a teething puppy with sore gums and the remote control is the best thing to chomp down on. Or your adult dog could simply be bored and get a kick out of sprinting past you with a pair of socks in their mouth. Maybe your pup is lonely and the towel they squirrel away smells just like you. Whatever the reason, in this video we'll take a look at our top correction and prevention tips to stop your dog from stealing your stuff. Before we get started, please help us out by subscribing to our channel and don't forget to ring that bell to see our frequently posted content. Before we take a look at our top tips, let's figure out your dog's motivation for stealing. Why do dogs steal? Many dogs steal simply because they're bored and their activity gives them something exciting to do. Others simply can't withstand the temptation of food on the counter or socks hanging up to dry. Importantly, your pooch is never stealing as a way of getting revenge on you. Dogs are too sweet and kind-hearted to hold a grudge. As well as knowing why dogs steal, it's useful to know what type of thief your dog is. Some pups wait until the coast is clear and creep off silently with their treasure. More showy personalities might steal because they like the ensuing attention and chaos. They might parade their plunder in front of you or dart past you with their favorite pair of shoes in their mouth. Alternatively, some dogs like to stockpile their treasures like magpies. They may accumulate a small pile of forbidden items, including their own most treasured toys. So what can you do? Here's our top tips for correcting a dog from stealing your stuff. Top tips, correcting your dog from stealing your stuff. Number one, do not chase. First things first, chasing your dog will not work. Your dog can probably outrun you and giving them a good chase actually rewards them for stealing from you. Number two, ignore them. If your dog has stolen something that they can't destroy or swallow, then just ignore them and leave the room. Without attention, your dog is likely to drop the stolen plunder and follow you. Number three, use the drop cue. Teaching your dog the drop command means you can simply ask them to return stolen items to you. When you see your dog with a toy in its mouth, put a treat in front of its nose until the dog drops the item. As soon as your dog's mouth opens, say drop and reward them with the treat. Repeat this several times until your dog learns to drop items quickly. Number four, do an emergency trade. If your dog doesn't know the drop command, then you can try an emergency trade. These are especially useful if your dog has run off with important documents or medication that would be dangerous to them. For an emergency trade, run to wherever you keep your dog treats and make lots of crinkly noises as you open them. Get on your knees and put some treats on the ground to attract your dog. Ideally, your dog will drop whatever they've stolen, allowing you to gently reclaim the item. Number five, distract them. Dogs can be distracted fairly easily, especially if that distraction includes a little bit of bribery. Throw something your dog likes in the opposite direction. Try treats, their favorite toy, or a small piece of cheese. If your dog loves exercise, then offer them a walk instead of a life of crime. Number six, don't yell or grab. Yelling at dogs is just like barking loudly at them. It will either make them scared or defensive, and they won't know what you want from them. Additionally, avoid grabbing your dog and trying to pry their jaws open. Despite the temptation to get stuff back as soon as possible, grabbing from dogs can actually encourage them to guard. Maybe your dog isn't a thief, but you want to make sure they don't develop the habit. Here's our top tips for preventing your dog from stealing your stuff. Top tips, preventing your dog from stealing your stuff. Number one, keep food away. This should go without saying, but if you don't want your dog to make off with your lunch, then keep all food out of their reach. Dogs are creative creatures, and some like to counter surf to see what they can find. If you can't keep your dog away from food, then keep the kitchen door closed or use baby gates. Number two, increased exercise. Often dogs steal because they're bored and have nothing else to do. Increasing your dog's exercise means they won't need to bother with stashing your stuff in their downtime. Increase the length of your dog's walk and use ball throwers, fetch toys, and dog frisbees to tire them out. Number three, mental stimulation. As with physical stimulation, dogs also need mental stimulation in order to avoid boredom. Dogs need and like attention and really benefit from interaction with their humans. Try a five to 10 minute session of a reward-based training with your pup and they'll be less likely to steal from you. Number four, clean up. The likelihood of your dog stealing is much lower when there aren't lots of tempting items for them to grab. Tidy away shoes and any dangling items in your home and move low hanging towels or laundry out of your dog's reach. Number five, use dog toys and shoes. There are all sorts of dog toys and shoes on the market that will keep your dog entertained and away from your stuff. 
Try hard rubber toys that your dog can chew on or food dispensing toys that reward your pup. Using treat dispensing toys teaches your dog that their stuff is more fun than human stuff, so make sure their toys are available and desirable. Well, that's all from us. Thanks for tuning in for our top tips to stop your dog from stealing your stuff. Stay tuned for more top tips. Be sure to subscribe and paw that thumbs up button. Then go ahead and check out some of our other videos or fun activities on our website. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.